meeting up with my buddy Travis today. I'm going to be meeting up here with the Plant Street Market here in Winter Garden, Florida. He's going to be grabbing a drink. We're just going to be hanging out for a minute. We're going to get some lunch in downtown Winter Garden. Let's take a closer look. There's Travis. Got a, is that a crooked can? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Which one is that? Called the Wizard Party. The Wizard Party. It's like a Scotch ale. It's You're a, little, a wizard. A malty, but yeah, it's <laughs> that's good. awesome. Yeah, we're uh, hanging out here today. We're gonna go visit the Edgewater Hotel. Talk a little baseball history here. Get into a little bit of trouble. <laughs> This is Plant Street of Winter Garden. I'm down here quite often. A lot of good places to eat and hang out. Right over here is the, uh, kind of like the historical society area, but they have a few classic vehicles. We're gonna go down Plant Street here to the right to a place called Harold's because I want a hot dog today. Hot dog and baseball team, I guess, I guess kind of go hand in hand. One day I'd like to go in there and, and film the museum. Did a video here not too long ago. Actually, it was quite a long time ago. Matching up some photographs of some old buildings down here. Check it out if you haven't seen it. This is where we're eating lunch. Harold's hot dogs and cold cones. Never eaten here before. I want a hot dog. Ooh, check this out. Pretty cool. All right, this is the chicken dog. These are literally chicken bites. Oh, it's good. With buffalo and blue cheese. And then this is the stadium dog and ranch and fries. And what'd you get? You ate it. I'm munching down. Just a regular all beef hot dog with onion and jalapeno. And then some grilled chicken tenders. And look who's here. Hi guys. It is promise. And What'd the chicken. Chicken. I just, just chicken. like their grilled tendies. With uh, Well, buffalo. buffalo. Keep it simple. So good. So good. All right, I gotta dig in. Harold's was delicious. Seriously, oh my gosh. So the chicken was in a hot dog bun. And it was uh, in a buffalo blue cheese. So it had like buffalo sauce, blue cheese crumbles. It was delicious. And then the stadium dog, I did enjoy. Little spicy on both of them. Starting to feel a little spice a little bit. Yeah. I like the fries because it's kind of like you said, five guys. Yeah, it's French like fries. the skin, almost like the skin on. Skin. Like, yeah. Yeah. And you got just like a regular dog that yeah. you customized. Yeah, I just got onion and jalapeno, and I'm a simple man. You're and then I got the simple uh, man. They got the grilled tenders too, which are really good. It's just simple, good protein for you. Simple. <laughs> but now we are in front of the Edgewater Hotel, and with Elton John blasting in the background, I'm going to talk about this. Uh, Don't get a copyright. Story. I know, right? <laughs> got to keep talking. Going to talk about this hotel right here. There's some interesting historical things in this hotel. Let's talk about it. So January 26, 1927, actually just a few short days ago, this hotel opened and uh, this was actually the housing uh, place for the Washington Senators back in the day, as well as some other Hollywood celebrities, including Clark Gable. He actually stayed here once upon a time. I'm gonna insert a photo from way back in the day so you can see what this place looked like when they were building it and then once it opened and it was kind of a, a thing. You can see some of the, the vehicles out front. And to this day, 2024, we are almost at 2023. This place is open. Restaurants down here. It's a full-fledged hotel. I'm gonna go inside and show you guys a really interesting thing about the bathroom. That's right, we are going inside a bathroom and um, see if we can see the old uh, hotels 
elevator because elevators back in the day were kind of a new thing still and this this place had a had a, a good elevator apparently i don't know if this was like the front entrance here back in the day but it's now home to the chef's table the main entrance is here i think this has always been the main entrance you can see some of the curtains and the windows have like an old flare to them look out or something yeah, this place supposedly is on a haunted tours like ghost stop, but this is the front door here, Edgewater. And here's the uh, Edgewater Hotel, a bar and breakfast style in bed and breakfast, not bar and breakfast. What are you gonna do? Drink in bed? Yeah, bed and breakfast. Yeah. Here's the first floor, the second floor is bed and breakfast, and the third floor, bed and breakfast established. 1927. There we go. Inside of like probably the original door. Yeah, it's still a real working hotel. Kind of reminds me of something out in Hollywood in a way. Some of these ceilings and just the architecture and stuff. Here's a little bit on it. And that's what a, a bed looks like. Another bed. Slow down and relax. Some of the hallways. Not sure. Hearts TV. Oh, look at this. There's a staircase that goes up. The barber shop connected here. This also goes to the other restaurant across the way. So, yeah. I'm guessing these were here. This seems like a most uncommon elevator. That's it. This is the elevator, man. Holy cow. Look at this. The Edgewater Hotel. Elevator right there. Inside the bathroom, they had a bunch of stuff from the Washington Senators when they would do their spring training. They stayed here at this uh, Edgewater Hotel. We're gonna head over to the uh, field where they used to, to play Walker Field. Let's see if there's anything like a plaque or anything. But Travis said it right. This place looks like the like the Tower of Terror on the inside. <laughs> Here's the backside of the Edgewater. Yeah, I know, it looks like it, right? It does. <laughs> I'm busting down. Yeah. Right up there. That's awesome. Yeah. This is the back side of it. This is the side of the Edgewater. Not sure what this right here used to be. The, the smoke. The brick the door here oh yeah they'll tell you do not park here here's the sign right there 
Where's the cat? Right there at the door. Oh, there he is. He's <laughs> like, let me in. I was telling Travis, every time I walk by this, I feel like it's Haddonfield High School. Like, Lori and... Apparently somebody did get burned here. It was padlocked yeah, They padlocked it, yeah. Both sides. The Haddonfield the, Knights. Look at the, the doors. Haddonfield Killers. The doors are all like... Oh, so like 70s styling like, here. But they're like uh, Beaten up. Oh, they are water. Did this place like flood? We're from Haddonfield. Couldn't be prouder. <laughs> Can't hear us, we'll yell a little louder. This is the Kuzam building. I am Kuzam. Yeah, I don't think anybody occupies this like Travis said. This it's all kind of boarded up. Weirdly, it's like prime real estate right here. It is prime real estate right here in the heart. Yeah, there's still like probably office supplies or something in there. Oh yeah. Look it over here to the left. There's a sink. Is that, is that like bugs on the counter? Yeah. Yeah, we never found out what this is, but we think it's just. Yeah, a whole electrical panel. Huh. Right down here in the, the heart of Winter Guard. All right, we are heading to Walker Field. It's right up here on the left. This is the field right here. I'm gonna insert a photo from what it used to apparently look like. I'm not sure if this is the same field. Just found an article talking about this field being used for the spring training. And they mentioned Crooked Can, which is where Travis and I were earlier, where he got a beer that was right there. it's the ball field on the other side over there that's in the photo either way this is the field right here pretty cool little like baseball history here in central florida and also that edgewater hotel some of the employees who were being trained at walt disney world when it was being built stayed there as well because we are very close to walt disney world i don't know I love, I love little towns like this, man. What'd you guys think? Today was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy learning about some history in Winter Garden and seeing a hot dog. This was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Till then, stay weird. Goodbye.